Hello, this is Risa, and today I am going to do a video about a game called Very Dice, which is an app that I play on my phone. You could probably also download it on your tablet. Um, mine is Android. I'm not sure if they have one for iPhones too or not. You'll have to check that out. But in this game, you roll dice, and you earn tickets, and you can win real live prizes that they send to you in the mail, free shipping, and you can get a lot of cool stuff from this game. So I'm going to show it to you on my phone, and then after that I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have won from the game. So hopefully you like it and you want to check it out. So let's get going here. Alright, this is the icon right here for the game, Very Dice, all one word. It's going to load up. Now, when you install this game, you can either do it through Facebook or through email. So if you don't have Facebook, sign up through your email. I signed up through Facebook. And if it ever kicks you out of the game and you have to sign back in, make sure you sign back in the same exact way you created the account. Like, if you sign up with Facebook the first time, make sure when you log in that you do it the same way. Because if you hit the wrong one, it's going to make it look like you're starting over. And, you know, if you accidentally hit it, no big deal, then just exit out and then sign back in the right way because once in a while it does glitch or you have a, a problem signing in I haven't had really very many problems all right anyway up here is your rolls and here's your tickets main thing of the game is you earn rolls you roll the dice and you get tickets and you redeem them for prizes and right here is where you're gonna hold the button down and roll your dice and Right here is the wheel. Once a day, you get to do a daily spin, and you can get up to from 1 to 10 spins. They're free spins, and they'll automatically credit to your rolls right here. And if you, let's say I do it today at 2 p.m., then tomorrow at 2 p.m. is when it resets. It'll start a 24-hour countdown once you do the wheel. All the time, I'll forget, so it'll keep going off. It'll lap days, but anyway, those are free spins that you do get. And right here is the daily doubles. The object of the thing every day to get the bonus is you want to get all six doubles. And this resets at 8 o'clock p.m. every night Eastern, so it'll probably be different if you're in a different time zone. And usually under here you'll see ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, and sixes. And I've already gotten my doubles, so I'm all set for the next day. That's why they're not shown there. But when you are trying to get them, it'll show each one and they'll be lit up if you got those doubles. Now in this game, if you roll doubles, you get double the amount of the tickets. So like if I rolled a four, double twos, I would get four bonus tickets. And there's like a basketball game you can play to try to shoot baskets to get more. I usually personally will just take the bonus rolls when I get doubles. So let's talk about these little icons here and what they do. There is one other one here. This right here, you can click on it. There's a multiplier. There's twos, threes, fours, and fives. Now you can change your multiplier, but that means you'll get double the amount of tickets if you roll that, but it takes that same amount of rolls. So like if I use the three multiplier and I rolled a seven, I would, oh yeah, I rolled a seven, okay. It's three times the roll. So like let's say I have the three and then I roll a five, I would get 15 instead of five, but it would take three rolls for that. The way I play personally, and the way I recommend, is to always use the one. Because it will only take one roll, and what you want to try to do is you want to get your daily doubles every day, because if you get the daily doubles, you get the bonus. And it's you get 50 tickets for each one, you, each double you get, like if you're doing ones. So if you get all six, that's a 300 ticket bonus. And if you can get them all before the end of the day, before they reset, you get to claim the 300 ticket bonus, and that's 300 tickets. So that's the way I play. And I don't know if you can see right here, there's a little number eight. I am on the eighth day in a row. If you can get your doubles 10 days in a row, you get a 10,000 ticket bonus. Now that is a big amount of tickets, and it's very cool because it's basically a free item. And I'm pretty excited because I am two tickets away. And right now I have 18,606 tickets, which is a lot because I'm actually saving up for a 20,000 ticket item. And the tickets start at 2,000 tickets, the, um, the items you can redeem. So that's, that's a pretty good amount, really. And there's like tickets, there's items that cost like a lot more tickets. But anyway, so you want to try to get your daily doubles. So 
in my opinion, it's better to use the one instead of the multiplier. Because if you don't have a lot of tickets and you use the multiplier, it's taking more rolls to get them. And how many rolls it takes to get all six daily doubles in one day will vary. I have gotten it. Like, most of the time, you'll get them between, like, it's a pretty wide range. I've gotten them with, like, 30-something rolls before. And I've gotten them with 40 or 50, 60-something rolls. Sometimes I've had over 100 and so many rolls saved up, and I still don't get them. So then you got to try to earn more rolls to get your doubles. All right, well, let, let's talk a little bit more about these icons down here. Let's start from the right. This is the tickets. This is where the goods are. That's how many tickets I have up there. And like they say, all items are brand new and shipped 100% free. And the ticket prices of stuff will go up and down, and that's not the game doing it. It's the place that they're getting it from, like Amazon. Like if something, the change price is on Amazon, which is where most of this stuff comes from, the ticket prices will change. But this is the featured thing right here, and it'll show you items worth 2,000 tickets. So it's various items here. And then you can switch it from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 20 plus. Now, the items in this catalog, they change them once in a while. And if they're featured, that means they're less than they usually would be. Like, they're kind of like a sale item. There's various stuff in here. Like, there's some Irish Spring soap. There's some body stuff there. I'll show you the 8,000 tickets. Um, obviously, the more tickets something costs, the more advanced it is. There's a little fan there. A clock. Makeup brush. Um, let's see, 10,000 tickets. There's some candy there. There's chips. Now, the stuff in the catalog, there's some tanning lotion, is not representative of all the stuff that you can order. I must say, so far I have ordered nine things. I have won nine things. None of the stuff I have ordered has been from the catalog. This is what I'm saving up for right here, though. This is uh, on sale. It's 20,000 tickets. It's a Roku Express streaming stick. And we have one of those, and I saw that they were in there. And I'm hoping that it's still in the featured two days from now, because if I get my doubles... Well, I, I might even get enough today to redeem it, but that's something I want, and that is awesome. I think the one that we bought was like 35 from Walmart, so this is a pretty good deal here. And that's what I'm saving up for. But like I said, all the stuff in the catalog, and they start at 2,000 tickets, there's cheap stuff you can get, is not all you can get. You go to the middle here where it says search. Now, a lot of people who download this game don't realize that. They're like, there's stuff in there for 2,000 tickets. It's like, why would I want that? I could buy that for a dollar. First of all, this is a game, it's free, and it's like, you get free stuff, it's cool, but you could type in whatever you want. Like, let's say you liked Metallica. You gotta, like, get used to this and search for stuff that you want, and this is just an ad here at top, but... And then it'll give you results, a lot of these are CDs here, like, there's a reload CD, and then you're gonna check the availability, and it's gonna find the best ticket price for you, and they have a CD here, reload, for 20,000 tickets. And if you find something you like, you're going to click this heart up here, and you're going to add it to your wish list. There's a back button up here to go back. You could pretty much search for, like, anything you can think of. Like, you could type in tank top. I know you probably can't see what I'm typing in there, but you can see the rest, I hope. And then you hit the little search bar there after you type it in. There's not one up here, so you got to click it on your screen. And there, various things will pop up. Most of this stuff, oh, I did a typo on that, got to fix that. Most of this stuff um, comes from Amazon. They say they use other sellers, like I had a friend who, she redeemed makeup brushes for 2,000 tickets, and I think they might have came through Wish or an Asian seller because she didn't get it for a couple weeks, but a lot of the stuff that you get from Amazon, it will come in like two or three days. Like I, I don't know if they use Prime, or I think it is, like when I get it in the mail, it looks like it came from Prime. Um, here's a tank top. You could... You can type in specific things, too. Like, if there's something that you've seen that you liked on Amazon, like, try typing it in here, and you might be able to find it. But anyway, when I push the heart on that one before, it goes to your favorites one. These are all the ones you put a heart on. These are all things that I'm thinking about, thinking about trying to get because I liked. Like, there's the streaming stick there I told you about. And scroll down here. Um, here's some perfume I thought was cool. These are like maybes, and like if you search for something and you like it, it's a good idea to add it to your wish list because you might not be able to find it again. Like this uh, perfume here is 6,000 tickets, so it's a good thing to add them here and see what you got going on. Um, there's a DVD set from South Park here, I believe it was 6,000 tickets maybe? Let me see what it was. Yep, 6,000 tickets, so 
some of this stuff I added quite a while ago, so a lot of it, you know, it'll stay the same price. The featured ones, though, those are the ones that go up and down. There's a swimsuit I'm thinking about trying to get that I just found recently. It was 10,000 tickets. No, 13,000, my bad. Okay, well, anyway, so you get the general idea. There's a lot of cool stuff you can get. It's not, like, you know, just a bunch of junk or whatever, so that's where you can find the stuff there. Um, here's my settings. This is where... If you want, don't want to get notified, you can turn that stuff on and off right here. And then here is, there's the help if you ever have to contact them, which I have not had to do before, luckily. The history here, that will show you your order history. And there's all the stuff I've ordered, all nine of them. And when you order it, your status, it'll, eventually, it'll first say ordered. Order pending. And then when it's ordered, it'll switch to ordered right here. And then when it's shipped, it'll switch to shipped. And they do send you an email also, the one that you registered with. So if you want to check on that, of course, it will notify you on your phone too, like at the top if you have notifications turned on, which I recommend. So you'll know when it ships too. And there's all the stuff in there. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got after I show you the game. And it'll say how much it was and all that. That's in your order section. I'm going to go back there. So that's about, and then you can log out down there, which you shouldn't really ever have to do. Go back. All right, and then let's skip to here right now. This is where it'll show your friend code, and there you can invite Facebook friends, and there's a leaderboard down here, which they do not update because it says I have redeemed five things here and refer referred to people, which is not right. I have redeemed nine things, so I don't know how often they update that or whatever, but there's a place where you can see your friend code. That is my friend code. And if you do download this game, I would love for you to enter that. And if it doesn't work when you download it, there's a spot in here where you can enter your friend code. And that's my friend code, 2579567. And there's where that is. So let's go on back and... This right here, with a little number on it, this is rolls I have earned. And when you earn a roll, except for the daily spin, the daily spin will go right to your rolls, but anytime you do a video or a survey, they go here, and then you just click it. And then it's adding to my rolls there. So now I'm up to 64 rolls. But you have to remember that. Like sometimes like if you do your videos or you do a survey and you get a roll, it does not automatically go to your rolls. You gotta go to that middle little envelope there and you gotta grab the rolls. All right, this is the main action screen here. This is how you get the rolls. The top one here is get instant rolls. That means buy rolls. Now me, my myself, I have never spent a penny on this game. I, it's a free app. I have never bought any. But if maybe if you were like on your ninth or your last day of the daily doubles and you were so close and you only needed one more double and you didn't want to lose it because that is 10,000 tickets, maybe you would want to buy rolls for a dollar. I've never done it. Usually with the daily doubles so far, I'm kind of I get kind of obsessive when I play a game. So I've been trying to get them pretty hard. And I was on day five or six and I didn't get my doubles and I let it go and start it over because to me it's like if you're gonna if you're gonna spend money on it, it's not really a free game anymore. So I don't know. You gotta that's up to you. But right here, watch a video. Every hour you can watch a video on this game for free and you can get a roll from it. So I'm going to click that. Now some of the rolls you just watch an ad, it's like 30 seconds, and then you get the roll. But there is a couple on here like this one where you have to watch three slides, and then you get the roll. Now every hour you get one video, but every three hours you get three videos. So there's one every hour. So if you, you know, you're using your phone a lot, make sure you hop on there and get the hourly video. And I think it is 11, 2, 5, and 8 that you can get on my time, Eastern, that you can get the three videos. And I'm pretty sure I can't get the next one for another like 10 minutes, so doing the slide video here and, and I'll show you how you get the roll. This is the last slide. So you're gonna finish that up. Sometimes like when you finish watching an ad for whatever reason it restarts the game, but you still get your reward. So now, if I wanted to get the reward for that, it tells me awarded for one roll. Sorry, I know the lighting is not the best here. Sorry about that. And then it's going to go to your envelope here. See there? I got video bonus. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's hard to read. 
anyway, so now I'm up to 65 rolls. So let's go back to the main action screen here. All right, where it says watch a video, now I could check back in 12 minutes. That's because it's almost to the next hour. On the hour is when it resets. So I got that one, and I'll be having another one coming in 12 minutes. If you scroll down here, watch more videos, check back in 12 minutes, that is because it is almost 2 o'clock, and that's when you get three videos. So when that's lit up, there'll be one to watch, and then after you watch that, there'll be another one to watch. The one at the top there, the first one, is every hour. The one towards the bottom is every three hours. Now, you could not, like, not play for eight hours and then get those eight videos. They do not accumulate. So the one every hour, if you don't get it during that hour, you lose out. But the one every three hours, let's like let's say at two o'clock, I don't get those videos, and then I wait, I come on at like three something. Those will still be there, but just the three, like you know what I mean. Like you won't lose out on the three; they'll stay there. Like you can get them the next hour, but you can't like accumulate ones for the one hour one. I think that makes sense. All right, so the videos and the daily spin; those are good ways to get your rolls. And you could do that, and you could do the bare minimum every day, and eventually you will get enough tickets to get something. But if you want to get a little bit more, there are a couple other ways to get rolls. Besides, obviously you get 30 rolls for any friend that joins with your friend's code. But there is an offer wall here, and if you play any kind of games on there, it is similar to most other offer walls. I do not do this. I have went through it a couple times, and most of it is downloading apps and stuff like that. And I just don't do it. I, I mean, there's most of them in here, it's more trouble than it's worth. If you want to check it out, that's cool. I do pretty good on the game from just doing the surveys and the videos and the daily spin. There are three kind of surveys. One is Pullfish Survey. There's none available at the moment. These only pop up once in a while, but they are awesome because they give the most rolls. Like some of them are 6, some are 12. I've even had one for 20 before. If you see those pop up, you click on that fast. Run, don't walk to it. And sometimes they will knock you out because you don't qualify, but the ones that do, it's worth it. And then you get your rolls from that in the briefcase. So if that pops up and you ever see it, make sure you do one. The main two are Theorem and Tap Search. Now the Theorem ones, they seem to reset every day, usually around, maybe around 8 o'clock when the daily doubles or whatever you want to say, the other stuff resets. But there's none available right now, so I can't click on them to show you. But when you do the videos, once you start doing them, you kind of get established with it. And a lot of times you won't qualify, but it'll still kick you out, and you'll still get one roll from trying the survey, which is how I get a lot of my rolls, because I don't qualify for a lot of them, don't have kids, any of that kind of stuff, but once you get going and you've done it for a while, you'll still get a roll. Sometimes it knocks you out and you don't qualify, you don't get anything, and some of the surveys you do are kind of long and you get the rolls for them, but like I said, it'll kick you out and give you one sometime once you get going. If you decide to play the game, you'll see what I mean. The tap research, those pop up more often. And like when they run, like I got one right now. Now it says 12 rolls, but it's not going to be 12 rolls. Like that's the maximum you can get. And you're going to click on it and it'll say blah, 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 blah. Your survey experience depends on your answers. The shorter the survey, the less um, rolls you get. You're going to click on it and you try it out. And let's see here. Loading, please wait. The majority of these surveys I do, I won't qualify for. But a lot of the times I will get the roll for trying. And this stuff adds up after a while. Check back here and there when you run out. Now, I, I've done a bunch earlier, so there won't be a lot for me to get right now. But you want to get those rolls up and try to get your doubles, because getting the doubles gives you the bonus, and you can get them in a row, and it works out pretty good. So, I mean, I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on the survey here. This one might be a little bit long, so I'm not going to actually do the survey right now because I don't want to waste too much time on it, but if you did the survey, you would get the roll, and I'm just going to leave the survey here, and then you could choose a different survey, go back, and it's reset in the game here. It'll check for updates every single time that you load the game, but if I had gotten the survey, the rolls would be here, where it says check for rolls, and I don't have any right now, and that is pretty much it. It, like I said, you can do the bare minimum and you can do the daily spin and the videos, and you can get quite a bit just from doing that. Like, uh, the girl who showed me the game, she doesn't do the surveys, although recently she started trying to get them. And you'll still get enough tickets to get stuff, like 2,000 tickets is the minimum. And if you just go searching for stuff, it's hard to find the ones that are 2,000 tickets, so you'll probably have to look at the featured items to do that. There is some cool stuff in there, they, they change them out quite a bit. 
And if you'd like to start playing this game, I do recommend that you check out their Facebook page because their Facebook page has a lot of contests and stuff on it that you can do. I haven't won one yet. I've only tried a couple. And this actually right now I'm doing this video for a contest for it on there. Hoping to maybe win on there, but it's pretty cool. You can get some good stuff. I'm going to show you some of the stuff I have gotten so far. Now, there was three CDs that I got that I can't show you because they were for a gift that I got for my dad, so... One was 6,000 tickets, one was 10,000, and one was 13,000. Which, it might sound like a lot if you haven't played the game, but really it's pretty decent. Because you know how much CDs can be, and it's pretty cool. But, I got this Shinedown CD here. This is the newest one, the newest Shinedown CD. It's a regular CD. I got this, and I believe it was 10,000 tickets. So, it was pretty cool. I don't know if you listen to Shinedown, it's not one of their better CDs, it's a lot different than their older stuff, but it was cool. I think that was like the second thing I got from the site, and when I ordered it, it was actually not released yet, so it was back-ordered, but I ended up getting it the day it was released, and it was through Amazon, so it was pretty sweet. This was the new Five Finger Death Punch CD, which is very awesome. If It's not in there because it is in my player because I absolutely love it. I'm actually going to see them next month in concert, and they are great. If you don't listen to this, I recommend checking it out, and Will the Sun Ever Rise is a very good song on it. This was 13,000 tickets, and I also ordered this on pre-order, not back order. I didn't mean back order before, I meant pre-order, not back order. I ordered it, and I got it the day it was released, and it was really, really cool. I was like, when I first started playing the app, I'm like, I searched for Five Finger Death Punch because I like them, and I found some shirts on there, and I found that. I'm like, that's a new CD. I'm like, that's not even out yet. That can't be right, can it? And I'm like, well, I'm going to save up for it and see because that's really cool. And then I found out it was legitimate. This app is real. It does mail you the stuff. And I got that the day it was released, so that was pretty cool. So when I got that, I think that was the very first thing I redeemed, the Five Finger Death Punch CD. And then after that, the Shine Down. But I ended up getting the Shine Down one first in the mail because that was released before the Five Finger Death Punch. But once I started doing that, I started searching for random things. And I'm a nightgown fan. And this purple nightgown here, this awesome silky material, was in there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like the old ones I have. And it was 20,000 tickets. Back then, that sounded like a lot to me. But I kept looking at it. And the more I looked at it, I'm like, I've got to have that. So I saved up enough for it is the third item and I ordered it and then I noticed my order was pending for almost a week I'm like oh man because I'm like I'm not sure what to think about that and then I get an email that my item was no longer available and my tickets were refunded and sure enough like I logged in that day my tickets were right back where they were before I spent the tickets on them 20,000 tickets and I'm like well, I'm glad I got my tickets back, but I really wanted the item because I really wanted this. So I went on a search on Amazon and I found this. They found this nightgown and I ordered it anyway. So this actually didn't come from the app, but it was available in the app. And for whatever reason, it became unavailable. Must be the seller ran out. So it was probably not the same seller I got it from, but it's the same item. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, you know. They give you your, your tickets back. So if you're not going to get the item, they refund you. No problem with that. So anyway, this is a snow baby, which I can't take out of the package because I did get this for my mom's birthday, which is in like less than a week. And it is a snow baby. See that there with the little candy there? It's very nice. Pretty sure it was ten or 13,000 tickets. I could have looked this up, but I mean, it's one of the two. Not bad. The only item I have gotten that would have been 20,000 tickets would be that nightgown, but I got refunded. But as you can tell in my tickets, I am very close to 20,000, and I'm going to get that Roku stick. So I might even get, like, depending on how many rolls it takes me to get my doubles tonight, I might have enough to get that stick tonight, if not tomorrow. Unless it goes out of the featured, but it's been in there over a week, so I've got good vibes that I'm going to get my hands on that Roku stick. All right, and this shirt I got. I think it was 13, there's 13,000 tickets. It says, I want to be where the people are not. Sort of like the Little Mermaid saying, I want to be where the people are, but antisocial ones want to be where the people are not. So this shirt, I believe it was a size large. I got it. Yep, size large. It was true to size. It is a little bit clingy, so it doesn't have like a whole lot of extra room. Like I like to say it highlights your fat. That's how I like to say it, but 
it was very nice. And like I said, this stuff is available on Amazon too. So if you don't end up playing this game and you're still watching at this point, you could probably order this stuff. So it's exciting. Um, last thing I got, I can't remember if it was 6,000 or 8,000 tickets. I can look it up while I'm talking about it. But this is Taste of Home Slow Cookers, 431 Hot and Hearty Classics. And it is awesome. I've actually already cooked three things from here. And I really did enjoy it. So got some really good recipes. And I don't know if you're familiar with Taste of Home, but it's pretty cool. It was 10,000 tickets. It wasn't six. My bad. But it is so worth it. Like, color recipes. Very nice. Very cool. I'm actually thinking about searching for more of this stuff on the game because I really enjoyed it. And I would recommend getting this. So if you want to save up for something, start with this. I love slow cooking. It is so much fun. I actually got it going right now. I got some pulled barbecue chicken cooking over there. It smells awesome. So there you have it. There's some really cool stuff you can win from here. I hope I did a pretty good job showing you about the app on here. And if it's something you're interested in playing, I would really check it out. Um, let me show you how you roll. Because usually I want, you want to save your rolls. That's another thing. Once you get your doubles, don't roll anymore until the next until it resets to eight. Because you want to save all your rolls for trying to get the bonus. No, that's my way of playing. Some people, as soon as they get their rolls, they spend them right away and they just want to watch their tickets accumulate. That's fine if that's what you want to do. I mean, if you're not going to be playing a lot, you're just going to check on once in a while. That's cool. But if you want to play hard at first and try to get stuff, I would recommend my way. And you're going to hold the button down. Let it go. Five tickets. So there goes five more tickets. So I'm only going to roll once just because, you know, I wanted to show you how it works. So uh, if you're still with me, thank you for watching. And if you decide that you want to download the app, please use my friend's code. I'm going to also put this in the description. And that's about it. So yay for Very Dice. Bye.